10, he was in the world, and the world was made by him. Amen. Genesis 1 and 1, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Yes. So again, I must testify for the record that the same creator of both testaments yes. is the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We can only have one creator, Malachi 2 and 10, have we not all one Father? Hath not one God created us? So again, I am Jesus only. I don't recognize the Trinity. I don't believe in three gods. I believe in one divine person. Amen. And his revealed name to the New Testament church is the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus taken from the Greek word, which literally translates from the Hebrew word Yeshua, which means Jehovah, Savior. He always was Jehovah, always will be Jehovah. And beside him, there is none else. I thank God for... Uh, my testimony of being saved today, sanctified, Amen. Holy Ghost filled. Amen. Thank God for all his manifold blessings to me, Amen. all his manifold blessings to the church. Amen. And again, I stand before you as a living example Hallelujah. that if you follow God, Amen. God will bless you. God bless you. It may not always be the way you want the blessing, but he'll bless you. It may not be with your pockets running over with $100 bills, but God will bless you. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And bring you through the storm. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. He'll be there when nobody else is there. Yes. 
yeah. is before you when close ones have rejected you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Trust in God. Yes. Believe in his prophets. Amen. And God will bless you. Amen. I want to open up in the book of Romans chapter 13. Yes. Verse 1. Let every soul be subject unto the higher power. For there is no power but of God. The there is no power but of God. Now, this part we have to understand, surely. Now, verse 2, watch close. Whosoever therefore resisted the power, whoever resisted the power, resisted the ordinance of God. Ordinance means rules, yes. Yes. instructions. Yes. We're going to be dealing with the rules and instructions of God right now. Yes. Again, church, you have to realize the importance of the remnant church. Last week, Remnant Church. And we taught that that church was built on the foundation of a faith principle. But faith, again, must be proved by. Bible, which is the living word, Amen. once we can understand that we have a responsibility yes. to the word, Amen. which can only be interpreted by obedience. Amen. When you understand that faith <coughs> proved by the word of God and obeyed then this comes to what's left over in Christianity, which is the remnant church. Remnant means what's left. Is that right? Yes. All right. Now, once we can understand that, then we can put ourselves in a position to receive every blessing that God has stored for us. But now, this walk entails a great sacrifice. We have to understand that it's not about what I think is best for me. Amen. Y'all hear me? Yeah. It's what God visions is best for you. And God knows what's best for you because he created you. He made you. So God knows everything about us. He knows when something goes wrong. And he also knows when we have to rely on him. When we've done all we can do, we got to plant our feet and stand on the word. On the living word. Once you've done all you can do and you plant your feet, all you got to do is start getting happy Come because on. your blessings yeah. are on the way. Yeah. Your deliverance is on the way. There's no failure or no shortness in the word of God. But brothers and sisters, there may be a little bit shortness in our faith Amen. and our responsibility to the covenant. Again, the covenant is an agreement Amen. between, in this case, you and God, individually Amen. so. Okay. Not collectively, but individually so. I've made a commitment to God and God has made a commitment to me. Amen. The commitment God made to me is that he'll be with me and he'll bless me in this life and in the life to come, eternal life. And he would never leave me. Now this is a part that we don't quite understand. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. The word forsake means to depart from, to leave away from. He will never leave away or forsake us. No matter what you think you might be going through, if you trust in the living word of God, God will be there at the right time and you'll never be late. But we've got to learn how to make the sacrifice that's necessary to come into the unity of true faith, which is based on a belief. Now, I can't have faith unless I believe. I have to believe in Bible instructions because it's the rule or the ordinances that's going to separate me from those who say they know Jesus, but not willing to follow after Jesus. Amen. You can't follow after God unless you know what God's will is, what yeah. his intent in is for your life. Amen. What is the purpose for your life? Amen. Now, when God made humanity and gave him the freedom of choice, as I explained last week, yes. he would that...